Okay, so uh, today I'm going to record a video that will show you how to fix basically the problem that's the title of the video. And I've looked around for this uh, for a long time and I couldn't find one. So once uh, I found one that worked, I decided to just make a video and share it on YouTube so people can uh, do the same if they're having the same issue as I have been having. So the first thing you're going to want to do is... Um, Obviously, you have Wild Hearts, uh, have the game installed on your PC, and then also have this program called DS4 Windows. Uh, I can put a link to download it in the description. So, obviously, the issue is uh, normally when you play Wild Hearts on PC with a DualSense controller, the controls show up with like Xbox button prompts, whether you use a DualShock 4 or a DualSense. Uh, it's a a thing with Wild Hearts where the Steam config uh, support for the game just automatically overrides um, the game to use Xbox prompts even when you use a PlayStation controller. So uh, the first thing you want to do is connect your DualSense to your PC via the USB-C um, cable that comes with it and then just connect it to the back of your PC or the front door. Just make sure you connect it with USB-C. And in DS4 Windows, you should be able to see that the status is um, uh, um, USB and not wireless. If you use this with Bluetooth, it's not going to work. And so right now, I'm using a wireless profile, but you can basically use any profile you want. And the main thing you want to do is that when you go to edit the profile, you want to come here to other. I want to set the emulated controller to DualShock 4. It shouldn't be Xbox 360, it should be DualShock 4. And then you can save that. And then this is your profile. Once you connect uh, your controller and, Dual and DS4 window is open, it will just show in this window like this and then you can minimize. That's step one done. An optional step that you might want to do if um, uh, this is the first time you're doing this is that if you come to uh, sound settings and more sound settings here, you might want to come to this um, wireless controller settings and then you want to basically just configure the speakers to make sure that um, the vibration works. Because if you don't do this and you like play the game, vibration won't work because basically the vibration in uh, DualSense controllers is like, um, it's haptic feedback, but then it's still like, uh, it's still technically sound output. So doing this, is how you can make sure that um, vibration works when you play a game. So even if you're not using this as a headphones, even if you have like your mic plugged in and your uh, speakers plugged in or your headphones plugged in, you still want to configure the sound for the controller to make sure that vibration works when you actually play the game. And so if not, it would just be like a blank uh, sort of thing. So once that's done, uh, basically the controller is working, everything is fine. Next thing you want to do is that in the Wild Hat settings itself, you want to come to properties and basically in controller under the Wild Hat settings, normally it would be in use default settings, but to make this work, you want to disable Steam inputs. The reason you want to disable Steam inputs is because it's because of the Steam inputs override that it shows the Xbox controls in the first place. So when you come here and disable Steam inputs, what will happen is that uh, it's just whatever controller is plugged into your PC, that's how uh, the game will recognize the controller inputs because it does have some basic controller support, but the problem is that Steam overrides that support. So by disabling Steam inputs, we're getting rid of that uh, override. And so it is just whatever controller is connected to the PC that will control the game. And because of DS4 Windows, we're telling the PC that um, a DualShock 4 is connected. And then so uh, Steam override won't have any... Um, say over what we see inside Wild Hearts. You can still, if you want, come to Steam settings and then come to the uh, controller and turn this off, but it won't make any difference if you turn this on or off because we've already disabled Steam inputs for Wild Hearts. So at that point, nothing else here matters. But if you want to be super, super um, thorough, you can turn this off also, but it shouldn't pop up once you've disabled uh, Steam input in the game. And then the very last thing you want to do uh, is enter big picture mode in Steam. The main reason you want to enter big picture mode in Steam is because 
there's a specific setting in big picture mode that has to be enabled for this uh method to work so what you want to do in big picture mode you want to come to settings and then basically inside uh controller settings you want to come uh because of the setup right now because config supports us for me uh up for me i'm seeing ps5 and ps4 controller here because technically I've connected a PS5 controller to the PC and I'm emulating a PS4 controller, but you might see the same thing. If you turn off uh, the the window we just at just now, if you turn off uh, PS5 or PlayStation config support, you just see PS4 controller here. But the point is, regardless, you want to make sure that uh, enable Steam inputs for PlayStation controllers. You want to make sure that this is turned on in external gamepad settings. And then you can leave everything else off, but just make sure that Steam Impulse for PlayStation controllers is on. And then once you've made sure that this is on, then at this point you can uh, you can go back and then you can uh, exit big picture mode. So once you've done those uh, three things, once you have um, once you have DS4 Windows with DualSense connected on USB and it's emulating DS4. Uh, the optional step of going to sound settings and making sure that your vibration is on, like your haptic, uh, um, you've gone here and then you've made sure that basically your uh, vibration settings for your uh, dual sense are configured properly. Once you've done that and then you've uh, gone to Wild Hearts and you've uh, disabled Steam inputs, and then you've entered big picture mode and you've um, made sure that the PlayStation supports is on. Basically at that point, you should be able to, you should be able to launch Wild Hearts. And uh, when you launch Wild Hearts, you should be able to then see in the, obviously it takes a while to launch because um, all the background stuff. But basically if you do all of those things in that order, when you launch Wild Hearts, you should then see that the um, the button prompts in the game, within the game, are all um, PlayStation uh, are all PlayStation prompts. And you see in the bottom half here, uh, in the bottom right of the screen, normally if Steam input was enabled, you would see like config loaded gamepad with camera controls, or whatever. But because we've disabled the Steam inputs, that won't show up anymore. So if that doesn't show up and you've done all this correctly, then you should be able to see uh, that it has worked. The one thing with this method is that original. it's not going to work wirelessly. Like the, the whole thing hinges on it being USB because when you use it wirelessly, basically the game just does not support uh, wireless dual sense control without steam input so if you want to use this wirelessly you have to enable steam inputs and once you enable steam inputs for the game at all regardless of what config you use with that playstation it will always override it with um xbox controls but with this method with using um wired only you should then be able to see um okay so there's an update now so you should then be able to see if we enter settings you can see all the buttons that playstation you can see in the detailed settings, it's showing a dual sense controller here. Before this method, if you tried to do this um, with just like the wireless uh, method, you would just see like an Xbox, you'd see an Xbox controller here and you would see all Xbox buttons. If you tried to connect it wired, but um, you didn't uh, do everything we did before with like the big picture stuff, you might see a PlayStation controller, but then you would still see Xbox button prompts and you wouldn't be able to use the controller. But by doing it with this method, um, USB-C to DualSense, configure the sound settings, uh, disable Steam inputs for the game, enter big picture mode, make sure PlayStation uh, external support is on. You should be able to uh, play the game uh, with full uh, PlayStation buttons you can see here um, a hold down for details uh, circle for back uh, left diagonal pad for um, eating and uh, yeah so this is just uh, the by far the simplest way to enable the uh, PlayStation controls and then just to show 
really quickly that uh, in combat all the um, all the button prompts are uh, PlayStation controls as well, and so uh, all of the uh, all of the button prompts, all the all the uh, prompts to um, construct Harkery, everything shows with. Everything shows with uh, PlayStation buttons, so this obviously something that uh, most people don't care about it, but uh, it has been bugging me for a while that uh, it shows Xbox buttons when we uh, it shows Xbox buttons when we play the game, and then uh, doing it this way will be uh, able to easier for most people. So uh, basically, that's uh, the end of the video. This was just a really quick uh, tutorial to fix an issue that has been bugging a lot of people, but I couldn't find um, a fix for it anywhere. So yeah, thanks for watching. If this helped you.